But we're back, and before we continue, I have a letter here, uh, which essentially asks about the B pictures, just uh, what they were and why they were so popular over the years between 1935 and the late 1940s. Uh, there's some debate, really, as to what the B actually stood for. Uh, some say it was the bottom of the bill feature and, uh, the, you know, the second feature that filled the double bill at your local neighborhood theater. Now, other people said it was the bread and butter feature, uh, the unpretentious little film, usually about 70 minutes in length, made with the leftover sets and costumes from past epics using stars that either were beginning or ending their film careers. After the Depression, I mean, the one in 1929, movie audiences declined, and to lure the public back into the theaters, the double bill was introduced. The second feature was exhibited on a flat rental basis, while the A, or the major attraction, split costs between the exhibitor and the studio distributor on a percentage basis depending on the popularity of the film. Now, if the film were a success, the exhibitor's profits might dip as low as only 10% of the picture gross at the theater. If you'd like to uh, find out a little bit more, you might have a suggestion of something that we talk about, as this uh, particular lady from St. Louis, Missouri did. Uh, write to us at American Movie Classics, Post Office Box 999, Woodbury, New York, 11797. And we'll be right back, but first, let's take a look at this. December glistens with holiday cheer on American Movie Classics. We've unwrapped a star-studded package of movie treats for a Tinseltown Christmas and decked the halls with mistletoe and toe shoes. Hello, everybody. American Movie Classics says, tis the season to celebrate Hollywood's 100th birthday with a memorable Tinseltown Christmas. Maurice Chevalier, Gary Cooper, Faye Ray, and Frederick March lead the way in a sparkling song and dance review, Paramount on Parade. Don Amici and Alice Faye salute the early days of filmmaking in Hollywood Cavalcade. Then, Orson Welles and Joseph Cotton star in Welles' cinematic masterpiece, Citizen Kane. Next, it's Ginger Rogers in her Oscar-winning role as Kitty Foyle. And Janet Gaynor teams up with Frederick March in the Academy Award-winning A Star is Born. A Tinseltown Christmas continues with Barbara Stanwyck and Gary Cooper in Meet John Doe. And Catherine Hepburn woos Fred McMurray into romance as Alice Adams. Then, ho, 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 it's Cary Grant and Irene Dunn in My Favorite Wife. Then Cary and Kate make a perfect team in Bringing Up Baby, while the madcap Marx Brothers are joined by Lucille Ball and Ann Miller in the comedy classic Room Service. Oh, it's a beautiful country, everybody! Cary Grant, Victor McLaughlin, and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. star in Gunga Din. John Wayne rides your way in John Ford's classic western, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. And Claudette Colbert joins Ronald Coleman in a bittersweet battle for love and honor under two flags. Plus... We came here to get a moving picture, and we found something worth more than all the movies in the world. A Tinseltown Christmas comes to a towering conclusion with the screen classic King Kong. Well, oh, that's good. Christmas Day brings mistletoe and toe shoes, a very special triple bill of dazzling dance. First, spirits soar with Astaire and Rogers in Carefree. Then it's the Academy Award-winning drama, The Red Shoes. Plus, Oscar nominees Shirley MacLaine and Anne Bancroft join Mikhail Baryshnikov in his screen debut. The Turning Point. It's a spectacular end to a star-studded season. December on American Movie Classics. 